Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin and where I think she's going right now. So far, we're in a very strong position, guys. We've managed to break back above that 20-day moving average. Over the last few days, if you guys didn't know, Bitcoin's popped up around 10%. At one point, it was up around 11.5%. So we are going in the right direction here. A couple good caveats here. A couple days ago, I told you guys that Ethereum most likely would drag Bitcoin above its 200 moving average on the four-hour chart. And as a few hours ago here, we did manage to break above that 200 moving average. So Ethereum actually led the way this time. We'll see how strong this move is, but so far this is a very good sign. We haven't technically had a breakout yet. That's what that we're gonna be waiting to see if we can get one of those. However, we are seeing a strong position and we're starting to see some of those uh, trend reversal signs such as a golden cross on the four hour chart, which hasn't happened, I don't believe since like, uh, you know, March or April. It's been a minute since the 50 uh, hour, uh, 50 moving average on the four hour chart has crossed above the 200 moving average on the four hour chart, okay? Now, talking about where we go from here, we do have a pretty steep trend line, so I do anticipate we actually fall down over the next few hours unless that whale comes in here, and that would happen over the next, what, six, seven hours probably. If we do manage to break back down here, we're going to be hoping for a little bit more of a cup and then just kind of a ride up right here. So I don't think necessarily falling down or breaking down below this trend line is like the end of this little rally here, but it will signal a potentially a dip for you guys to buy more assets to hopefully make some money as it, you know, uh, moves back up to retest the $22,000 level. Now, if we go over here to the 15 minute chart, you guys can see we're clearly just consolidating. There's no real heavy shorts entering the market right now, just your normal trading activity. This is just makes you a little bit more more happy if you're looking to open up a position. The majority of coins you guys are going to be looking at right now are probably coins that haven't popped up as much over the past few days. For me, that has been something more like an ADA where, you know, uh, it just has not been doing what you want it to do. Over the past few weeks, you can see that ADA is closer to its bottom than it is in the middle. Like, you know, Bitcoin's more up here relative to everything else. ADA is really down a lot more. I'm hoping that ADA can have a sizable bounce here if Bitcoin's able to retest that 22,000 level and have a breakout from there. Another important one that I want you guys to pay attention to right now is, uh, well, sticking to Bitcoin actually here for a second. If we manage to break out, it's going to be a hard task for us to break out above that 50-day moving average here. So I want you guys to understand that even if we do break out, uh, let's listen to this. If we manage to break out and close above the 22,526 level over the next two weeks or so, probably next week or so, you should either see a fake out, which we get rejected hard, or you're going to see a massive boom off, uh, probably trying to hit $25,000 or so, maybe even twenty six, before eventually getting tossed back down like a rag doll, uh, you know, as rate hikes come in, okay? So just be prepared for that one. We're still looking bearish overall. But another one that I want you guys to pay attention to here is Ethereum. We know Ethereum broke down. That was a nice short. If you guys took the opportunity, we bounced off of support. And now on the daily chart... Again, we're trying to get back above that Fibonacci level. What happens with Ethereum is towards the end of the week, uh, we tend to test it out. We even close up above it. But towards the end of the week, we actually get slammed pretty hard. So we don't actually have a weekly close above this Fibonacci level. And that's one thing stopping us right now. Uh, good news from here as well. We do have the 50 uh, day moving average coming in a little bit closer. I'm hopeful that we can actually break above that. If Ethereum is able to break above its own 50 day moving average, I'm confident that Bitcoin can do the same. Um, you just want to be careful because even though I'm optimistic that we can break out above it at this point with that good economic data, um, we kind of have that time limit here until the interest rates, uh, interest rate hikes hit. Um, that's going to be probably a really bad stand on the market. It's going to cause a lot of things to drop. And that's where you might see a little bit more of a trap coming into the market right now. Okay. But until then, just wait, just be patient. Just like Bitcoin, we have a double bottom and that neckline you're waiting to break here as far as Ethereum is concerned looks to be around 1276. However, we do have this trend line right above it, so I might just say just pump it up to 1300 if we break above that. You guys can have an easy buy opportunity. Probably put that stop loss, though, if you're buying at 1300 like 1290, 1280. Don't open yourself up to too much risk here because this still is a bear market, and you know bear markets eventually do get slammed back down after having some promising gains.